Hello everyone, today we're going to be going over opening a Shopify store. I am a Etsy seller. I've been selling printables on Etsy for a while now, about half a year, and I've sold thousands of dollars worth of printables on Etsy, but they are starting to take a larger cut of the amount sold and take away some of the freedom and flexibility that has made Etsy so wonderful for people. So I am going to open a Shopify store. And this is just a walkthrough tutorial of opening my own store. Shopify is a huge company. They power over a million businesses across the US and the world. They have all sorts of tools that make opening an online store to sell either downloadables or actual goods really, really easy. So starting your business on Shopify is a great option. They also have a 14 day trial, which is what I decided to do when I signed up. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use Spotify. So I signed up for the 14 day trial and that is something that you can do with the link in the description box below. You can set up your shop in literally under 10 minutes and see for the 14 days if you like using Shopify or not, and then decide at the end of the trial whether or not you want to move forward. It doesn't charge your card if you decide not to go for it. So there's really no downside to trying out Shopify to see if it is a better fit for you than any other platform to sell your products online. And it is super easy to create a shop. As you can see, it literally takes two seconds to create the account that you're going to start with. And then they ask you to give a little bit of information about yourself if you sell on a different platform. Like I said, I already sell on Etsy and they make it incredibly, incredibly easy to move your Etsy shop from Etsy to Shopify. As you'll see in a few minutes, they actually will import all of your Etsy information so you can transfer from Etsy to Shopify in literally just a few seconds. You have to add an address when you get started to get paid, but we'll skip through that since you guys don't need to know where I live. And once you enter that information, you go to your dashboard where you can have the import for your store. Your store's already created at this point. They make it immediately. Then here you'll just do the things that make your shop ready for people to visit and to see it. So that is importing your store from Etsy, adding a theme and putting in a custom domain. You actually don't have to do any of those. You can start from scratch from here. But since I'm an Etsy seller, I decided to import my entire Etsy shop into Shopify. That was going to make it super, super easy for me. And I didn't want to go through the hassle of recreating over 60 different listings when I started. So to import your shop from Etsy, you're going to have to go back to Etsy and get a couple of CSV files. They tell you how to do it. If you click on the link, it's very, very easy. You just have to export your shop data and your product data from Etsy. It tells you exactly how to do it. It's step by step where you go to your Etsy dashboard, go to settings, options, download data, and then select the ones that you need. This is one thing I liked about Shopify going from Etsy to Shopify is that they made it very easy to figure out what I actually needed and what I needed to download. So once I checked out what I needed, I hopped over to Etsy, went to settings, and then to options, and then to the download data tab. This makes it super easy where you download the CSV of all of your for sale listings and then you need to download the orders. So you'll select a CSV type of the sale listings and then of the orders with the month and the year you will want to select all of the entire last year likely of your Etsy shop. It depends on how long you've been on Etsy but the last year is a good amount of data. So I just selected January 2020 because that was my best month on Etsy and I knew that would cover everything. And then I went back to see what else I needed. Of course, hopping back and forth between these two screens might seem like a lot, but because it's step by step, you can follow along and download the exact items that you need. So as you can see, I had to download the order CSV and the order items CSV from Etsy in order to upload it onto Shopify so that they could pull in all the data and open my shop from 
where I was on Etsy instead of making me go back from scratch and upload manually each item, which let's be honest is not very fun. So once you've downloaded your data from Etsy, you're going to want to import it into Shopify. You will go down here to upload files under the import your store data and then select the ones that you have downloaded from Etsy. You can go about one by one and then just add the different ones that you downloaded that are needed to get your shop up and running. As you can see here, it makes it really easy. It shows you which ones you need to upload where. So for order item CSV, I just clicked on and I select the corresponding download from the ones that I just got from Etsy. And so once these are all plugged in, it will show you down here what is going to be imported and you will have all of the things that you need to get up and running. So click continue import and then it will read the files that you downloaded from Etsy and extract the data and create all of the things that you need to get your shop up and running. It will have your customers, your previous orders, your products, all of your product descriptions, everything's included. It makes it very, very simple. And as you can see, this is a tutorial in real time, so it does not take that long at all to get all of this done and uploaded. It might take you a little longer if you have hundreds of products, but because I only had about 60 something and not that many customers, it did make it very easy and very quick to switch from Etsy to Shopify. You can also do this all from scratch and just create all new listings on Shopify. However, I would highly recommend you save yourself a little bit of time at least and import the large number of files if you have them on Etsy. This will shorten the amount of time that it takes you to get up and running. It may take some of your files a little bit longer to upload, but that is a much, much, much quicker option than if you are going to do it by hand manually and do hundreds of different listings. During your Etsy shop import, it will likely take the longest amount of time to go through the importing of products. That is because it includes all of the information, tags, and images. Images can take a long time as well. Then it will successively go to the imported stage and move on to orders, which if you have a lot of orders can also take a minute. But overall, this is still, like I said, much faster than doing it manually. Once all of this info from Etsy is done and uploaded into your Shopify store, you will be starting off from a much better place than if you were starting your Shopify store from scratch. But if you are starting from scratch, it is also a great option because you get to add new listings and work on the preferred style of listing. And if you had any sort of Etsy specific language in your descriptions from your Etsy shop, then you're going to have to go through one by one and change them anyway. So there are some benefits to not importing as well if you want to start from scratch and maybe edit down and be a little more specific and cohesive with your listings. But overall, I would recommend just adding all of your stuff via import just so you can start off pretty quickly. And you can always delete things that you didn't want from Etsy to transfer over, but it does give you a good head start. Next, once your data is imported, you're going to select a plan for your store. So Shopify is not free. It is a platform that does cost money. So you will have to pay either $29 a month, $79 a month, or $2.99 a month. Basic Shopify will honestly cover most of what you need. This does reduce your paid rates since Etsy charges so many listing and transaction fees. There is none of that on Shopify. So if you're selling any amount of volume, Shopify is going to be a much better option because it cuts down on the amount of money you're losing to fees and rates for just taking in money. Since Etsy charges a 5% transaction fee and they are now going to be charging advertising fees for 10 to 12% on your products. This can be made back for the Shopify price for $29 a month very, very quickly, especially if you're selling higher price items or if you're selling just a large volume of items. You can do a Shopify plan via monthly or yearly. I started with monthly because I wasn't totally sure if I was going to stick with Shopify. So if you're going to try it out, you can do the 14 day plan and then go month to month and see how you like using Shopify. 
to get started. You do have to enter a credit card number, but they will not charge you until after your free trial ends. So you do get 14 days to play around with your Shopify store and see if you like it. You can edit your theme, you can customize the domain. There is a lot on Shopify that you can get sucked into and customizing. I would avoid doing that just to start, especially for your 14 day trial. You want to see if Shopify is going to work practically for you. So do away with all of the details and just eliminate the password protection, add a simple theme, and then the basics of SEO and Google Analytics so that you can track whether or not your Shopify store is doing well or not in that 14 days. So I would let your audience know that you're switching to Shopify. If you're not sure if you're gonna stick with Shopify or not, I would just be cautious investing too much time into it. There are a ton of different apps and things you can add to Shopify. It can be very, very powerful and very customizable. So there is a lot that you can do here, but to do the very basics, I would just add the very basic metadata and shop data and then add Google Analytics and then test it out for the two weeks that you get a free trial and see if it's going to work for you. It is one of the several options I'm gonna cover on switching from Etsy to a website where you can sell your own products and take back some of the fees and just have more freedom and flexibility with your digital product shop. The greatest thing about your Shopify shop is that in a short amount of time, less than 10 minutes, you have a great looking shop like this. This is with the simple basic theme that you can choose from Shopify that is free. There are a ton of different places you can buy Shopify themes and make your shop look like anything you want. This is a very basic setup and it is something that you can do in just a few minutes and you implement the theme by clicking on it. And then as you can see, there are some really good benefits of having a Shopify store. When you click on one of your products, it will look very similar to Etsy. It has a listing and it has photos, it has payment, click out, check out information, and it has a description. Then down below, it has recommended items that will be pulled from the items in your Shopify shop. If you head over to Etsy and you click on the same product, you will see that all of the same information, the photos and the listing and data and all of the things that help a buyer decide to buy your product. But then when you scroll down, you'll see the recommended items from your shop, but you'll also see ads from other shops. You'll see suggested things, things you might like. There are a lot of ways for a buyer to get distracted and click off of your shop and never come back to it. So one good thing about having a Shopify shop, having your own shop on your own website is that you're not gonna have competing shops competing to get your buyers and pull them off of your listing page. As you can see, everything is branded and put in your name, so there is no com competition convincing people to buy a cheaper priced copy of your item.